Well, her personality captured the attention of Michigan State's basketball team, and her story captured the heart of just about anyone who heard it. Sad news today, the little girl known as Princess Lacey died after battling cancer. Tonight, hundreds gathered on campus at Michigan State University in her honor. 24 News 8's Leon Hendricks has her story and how those who never even knew her are remembering her life. Perhaps they were unlikely friends, but friends indeed they were. The team met Lacey at a hospital two years ago. It was a group visit, but the little girl who would become known to us all as Princess Lacey clung to basketball standout Adrian Payne. Adrian's my brother. I just think of him when I smile. The now eight-year-old girl suffered from the disease so many of us fear, cancer, an aggressive one called neuroblastoma. As kids suffering from disease so often do, she amazed the masses with her ever-present smile. And although many knew it would happen at some point, this morning's news still came as a surprise. Princess Lacey was gone. Tonight, dozens gathered in her honor. Many of them penned their thoughts about the little girl on campus at MSU. Wherever you are tonight, you're mourning the loss of a young girl that is very strong. We mourn someone who we feel was our own. You don't know how much this means to me and, and to, you know, her family. So I'd just like to say thank you all for, you know, coming out and doing it. State basketball coach Tom Izzo was also there. Thank you for your smile, he wrote, and for making me a better coach and father. Earlier, he remembered seeing her face at an important team meeting before the game against the University of Connecticut. I just realized that the small thing we did was a big thing to her and all. I'll probably remember that night as long as I live. That day they met Lacey, the MSU basketball team went to that hospital in an effort to make the day for kids who've had childhood ripped away from them by disease. It's no doubt they made Lacey's day time and time again. And it seems that in the end, she made theirs a few times too. I think of him all the time and I love him. Oh. Absolutely sweet little girl. They're planning a memorial service now, of course, at an appropriate venue. They're going to do it at the Breslin Center next week right there on MSU's campus. But it's the kind of story that really just makes you wonder, you know, why this kind of thing has to happen. Oh, it just tugs at your heart, and yeah. I'm sure so many people will be there because that yeah. little girl touched so many lives. Yeah. What plenty, a cutie. Plenty of seats for sure.